Hi, good morning. This is Jack. This is an update for um, Sunday, and I have my um, op hop coil here, and also the two pulse circuits. And uh, what I also wanted to show off was my um, signal generator. It's a Rigol DG1022 uh, two-channel, and it also it has the ability to go up to 40 megahertz. So I found a sweet spot on the circuit here of about four uh, kilohertz. And uh, the second phase I have running 180 degrees out. So now I'm actually using the charging function to charge up this um, uh, light bulb. And the it's a it sustains 86 volts um, on the caps. And then if you disconnect the light bulb, uh, you can see that uh, the uh, voltage goes up considerably. See the voltage goes up to uh, well at least 200 volts. I probably shouldn't let it go past uh, 200. These uh, caps are rated at 200 volts. So there's uh, about 220. So then to connect the light bulb back on, see the light's very bright. It comes back down to uh, sustains at 86 volts. So a couple of watts. There's only a few watts going into the system, so there's no danger of it overheating. But I wanted to describe the circuit here. I just have the two signal uh, generator inputs going through identical um, amplifiers, the same amplifier that I used in my pulse motors and then um, as a preamp uh, so that then the, the MOSFETs then um, um, work with the coil. Uh, there's two separate windings on the coil and as I said they're energized 180 degrees out of phase. So um, there's a nice update for also I can show you that the the, t the charging function of the two, uh, here's one charging wire, if I take that off you see that um, there the uh, neon comes on for um, the one charge circuit and if I take the um, the other one off for the other charge circuit, this white wire, you can see that the, um, the neon comes in for the other one. So both chargers are working. So just wanted to show you that and I um, Hope to find some more resonances uh, with the uh, the April wine type coils. I'll be winding a, a few more soon. Thank you.